What's going on guys, Kuka here, and today I have another install tutorial for you guys. Today we're going to be doing the Aether mod. Um, I've been waiting for this mod for a very long time, and it came out like two hours ago. I know you guys are really excited, well have been really excited for this mod, and I'm doing a tutorial for you guys on how to install it, so uh, that shows how much I love you guys. Alright, so what are you going to need for this? is the Aether mod version 1.00 for Minecraft Beta 1.7.3 Audio mod, Mod Loader, and Shock API also known as the Achievement Pages. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down to your Start button, you're gonna click on that if you're on XP go to Run and then type percent app data percent if you're on Windows 7 or Vista just type that in. You're gonna see a roaming folder, you're gonna press enter on your keyboard or just click it you're gonna click once in your dot minecraft right click choose copy go into your desktop and choose paste this will make a backup for your um, dot minecraft folder in case something goes wrong now go back into here if you exit out of this go back to your start button type in percent app data percent and then come back here now what you're gonna do is you're gonna double click on the dot minecraft folder Whoops double click on that and then you're going to see a bin folder double click on that and then go down until you see a dot min minecraft dot jar file you're going to click once right click open with winrar archiver now what you're going to do is just bring that over minimize this don't exit out now you're going to see a meta dash inf folder you're going to click on that press delete on your keyboard or right click and choose delete files now we are going to install mod loader. You're gonna open that with WinRAR. What you're gonna do in this is just highlight all of these files, click and drag them down to the other dot class files. Make sure it's on add and replace, press OK. Now you have mod loader installed. Now for audio mod. You're gonna open that with WinRAR, bring that over. You're gonna highlight all three of these files once again. I'm gonna click and drag them into the other dot class files. Make sure it's on add and replace, press OK. Now you have that installed. Now you can exit out of that. Now for the achievement pages or the shock API. You're going to open that. You're gonna see a bin folder. You're gonna double click on that. You are going to highlight all of these files except for the top dot dot thing. That's just to go back, so don't really worry about that. You're going to click and drag them into the other dot class files. It's going to extract. You're going to press OK. Now you have that installed. This is just um, like a source folder. Don't really do anything with that because I'm not 100% what happens if you do. <laughs> so just don't play with that at all. Now you're going to exit out of the shock API. Now for the Aether mod. You're gonna open that. Now what you're going to do is just you're gonna see two files in here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna double click on the jar file. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna is just click on here and hit control and then A. This will can uh highlight all of these files. Now just hit control again and then click on the top dot dot folder. Again, just click and drag them into the dot class files and drop them. It's going to extract, add and replace files again, press OK. Now you have that installed. Now you're going to click up or the dot dot on the Aether mod, and then you're going to see a resources file. Now what you're going to do is just exit out of Minecraft.jar. You don't need that anymore. Now what you're going to do is go back into here. If you exit out of this, just go back down to your start button, type in percent app data percent, and then come back to here. Now what you're going to do is you're gonna double click on the resources file and do the same thing with the Aether mod. You're gonna double click on that, you're gonna double click on the mod file. Actually you don't really need to do that, you can just drag this into there 
into the resources thing. You're just going to drag that and drop. Now, guys, you have the Aether mod installed. I can't really show you because I have to go in a little bit. And yeah, I'm just going to show you. I didn't get a block screen. There's the Mojang screen. And what you do to um, get into the Aether is you just surround like you know how to make a if you know how to make a a nether portal you just do the same thing but with glowstone and then you use a bucket of water on it instead of flint and steel so yeah i hope this tutorial helped you guys if it did please remember to leave a like if you like what i do please remember to subscribe i love you all and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye